and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with the Stock Swish, and I wanted to talk about GME. This is obviously everyone that's ever been trading in the last two, three months has heard of this stock and what's been going on with it in the chat rooms, and it's had its earnings tonight, and it's tanking. This is no surprise. It's almost to the point where, you know, again, I'm not trading anything that the Reddit people are trading because you can't read anything in the chart with any level of accuracy. The stocks are getting halted a lot, and they're just burnt to me. But this is a great example here where, in fact, I'm just going to go back to yesterday. The stock had a big rally yesterday, lost the whole thing on the live day by the end of the close, then tried to move higher today, and now is tanking on earnings. People are long this, and they're getting killed right here. So most of these groups, these, these Reddit groups are going long. Why? Because in the accounts, they can only go long. Uh, there's certain restrictions in certain of, uh, certain of stocks that they've been trading, or if they don't have enough money in the account to have it set up, that they can short. Depending on where they have an account, they can't short, okay? So most of the positions that the Reddit people in these chat rooms have been taking are long, and they're based on no strategy whatsoever at all. They get together in group and say, we're going to go long it. While there's nothing wrong with that, and people can do whatever they want with their money, I think that for me personally, the stocks are burnt that they've been trading. And I think it's very dangerous to trade something when you can't look at it with a level of accuracy to read what's happening with the institutional money, whether it's buying or selling coming into it. I mean, this is so predictable here that this would be fallen earnings. I, I mean, again, I, didn't, I do not want to trade these things because I think they're a disaster and they're just burnt. These stocks are ruined now because they've been, they've been traded by these Reddit uh, uh, groups. But if I had taken a position in this into the earnings, it would have been short. It would have been to the downside. I would have done a put in it because a put has a fixed risk. I did not do that. But this was so, 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 so predictable. I can't tell you how predictable it was. In fact, it was even predictable yesterday that it was going to lose the bar. Um, I didn't know if it would lose the bar today or on the same day, but it did it exactly on the same day. It ran up to 344.66 yesterday and ended up closing to 300. So it ran up and then lost $44 on the same day. It's just nuts. I mean, in fact, let's look. This is the gap happening live, by the way. So this closed today at 302.56, and now you can see it's at 272-ish, and it's continuing to fall. So here's where it is. Right about here. And this is early. It's like 5, 5 15 ish. So, you know, this is a long way till tomorrow morning. It could be here tomorrow, till tomorrow morning. I don't know. Anyways, it's unfortunate that that that, that chat group has burnt stocks and, I'll, you know, that I just won't trade again because the charts don't make any sense because of what they're doing. There's a couple of them. This is one of them. But I think the most uh, concerning thing, which, you know, when I'm talking to people and they're telling me what they're doing, is that people. Um, are risking money in the market. And it's not just this, it's other things that people do. I find this a general concern. People risk money in the market without knowing what they're doing. So whether it's $5, $500, $5,000, it's your hard-earned money, you should know what you're doing before you train. You, sh you should know what you're doing before you trade. I mean, I never took a position in the market with my own money without taking a class first. And while the class, and only class that I ever took trading, didn't teach me how to make money, it did teach me some things about trading, which allowed me then to proceed and teach myself and create my own strategy, which I do today. And I don't do anything that's not gaps. But I'm saying these stocks are so burnt that I can't even read the gaps in these with any level of conviction or high level of probability that they're going to go right because of the fact that, again, it's, it's not being played right with institutional money because, really, funds are staying away from these stocks, too. Or you would have seen different reactions in some of the moves that this has had. But it'll be interesting to see if anybody comes in here because this could get dumped. This could get clobbered tomorrow. And people will also have margin calls because they're going to lose money. People are along this. I mean, I, you know, again, I don't go into those rooms and read whatever they say. But look how much of, this, look how much of a mess this is since this, since this has been played on. It's like gobbledygook. I mean... What I do is based on technical analysis, it's advanced technical analysis, I predict future price action by reading past price action, and I do it by reading and rating the gap based on my rating system. And that's what I mean when I say that this stock and other ones that the Reddit traders have been playing are burnt because you can't look at the past price data to make decisions about predicting future price data based on what, the, what they've been doing with them low the last few months. So this is just burnt to me, but this was very predictable. This would fall. That people are losing money as we speak in this who are along this stock. And people are going to double down on this probably tomorrow and buy more when it drops, who aren't going to get margin calls if they have the money to even buy more. And I mean, it's just, this is so, this is like 
you may as well, you're better off, your odds I think are better going to Atlantic City and gambling if you know how to play the odds, you know how to play cards um, and Atlantic City. Yeah, I thought about that. I, sh I, should, I, should, I should go and play cards. <laughs> I'd be great at counting cards, actually, because I'm so good with numbers. Anyways, have a great night, everyone. That's my take on this GMB. Wanted to do a video because it had earnings tonight. Very predictable it would fall. It's tanking as we speak. Have a great night, everyone. Email me at melissa.thestockswish.com if you'd like more information. Have a good day.